Hi again, YouTubers. So we are on to Makeup Graveyard series of highlighters. I will insert a clip here of uh, where my drawer stands now and kind of what it's like. So the middle section right here is all of my highlighters. It's not too messy, but I definitely need to go through it. And I th think I want to move it over to this section here but I feel like I like these dividers, but I don't remember for the blushes. I'll have to go through that um, next and determine, maybe I'll move it afterwards. But for right now, I'm gonna go through these here and tell you guys all about them. So let's just pull them out and get started. First one is, uh, and I'm gonna say this too, highlighters are something that I do not grab for that often because I'm oily combination skin. I always see other people use them and I always go, oh, I want that or I love that. And then I get it and it sits. So I think I'm gonna pull a good amount of these out. I don't know, we'll see as I go through it. Um, and everyone has said, or not everyone, a lot of people have said that they'd be interested in a blog sale at the end. So the cool part about this makeup graveyard is you kind of get to see what's gonna be on the blog sale as I go through. So the first one is a Laura Mercier Face Illuminator. That's all it says. Oh, this is the limited edition one. It was that rose one, and it is gorgeous. It is probably, honestly, of the highlighters I own, one of my favorite. It just is gorgeous. It is definitely a keeper. It is just by far one of my favorite ones. The next one is, sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Blonde. This is what it looks like. Um, it's gradients of pink. It's a very pretty pink one. I don't know, I don't really grab for that. I think that's going in the sale pile. Huh. Uh, next one, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Refined. I think that blonde was a limited edition. Refined is definitely much more refined. It is not as shimmery. It is not as in your face of a highlighter. It's just a very light sheen. I think I'll keep that one. I really like that one. I remember liking that one. Uh, another MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which this, this I'm actually gonna put into my blushes. It's MAC Stereo Rose. This is definitely a blush more than a highlighter to me. All right, so it's getting tossed over into the blushes and I'll deal with that later. Uh, next one, I have a lot of sample ones too in here, by the way. Uh, Laura Mercier, Highlighter 01, Matte Radiant Baked Powder, Highlight 01. This is what it looks like. That one's, that one's very pretty, actually. It's not too out there. It's the ones that are really, 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 really shiny that I just can't work with. Although that Laura Mercier one, the rose one, I really love. Uh, next one is the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. This is what I have on today, actually. Um, because it's not, this is what I like in a highlighter. Something that just gives you a slight sheen. I tend to honestly use my Guerlain Meteorites the most because um, it gives me a slight sheen without being too in your face, doesn't add color. Whoa, almost dropped that. Um, I really like this one. I will be keeping this one. Next one, Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighting Powder Duo. Um, this one is very pretty. I actually really like this one a lot um, because it has a mixture of both sides and it has a nice sheen to it without, sorry, without it being in your face. Very pretty. Okay, so I'm surprised. I have more than I like, more than I realized that I like. Because so far I've only gotten rid of one. Dior Amber Diamond 02. I don't think this is made any longer. Maybe I'm wrong. No, this one they do. It's their bronzers they stopped. I don't know. I like it on my finger, but I don't think I like it on my face because I never ever grab for it. All right, I don't need this one. This one's gonna go on the sale. Whoops. Uh, Elf Golden Bronzer, which is definitely not a bronzer. It is definitely much more of a highlighter. I remember thinking that was pretty. I won't use it. I won't use it. It's pretty, it's golden, it's nice, but honestly, I won't use it. All righty. 
Mac Natural Flare. I guarantee you this one's limited edition because I don't even remember this one. Holy glittery ball, of, holy ball of glitter. There we go. This one's really, really, really pink toned and really, really, really glittery. Very pretty, but I know I won't wear that or grab for it. So that one's gonna go. That one's gonna go. Next one, Laura Mercier Star Mineral Illuminating Powder in Starlight. I used to love these powders. Um, because they're very, very, very finely milled and you can control how much you get. I really liked these. I think I'm going to keep, I have two of these in different colors. Um, has a little sifter you can control. It's very, I remember really liking these and being able to control these a lot too. Um, this is the one in candlelight. Same thing. This one has more of a pink, pink tone to it. No, this one's more golden toned. Same container. A little bit more golden tone. Let me put them next to each other. That one was candlelight and this one is starlight. Oh, starlight is more yellow toned and candlelight is more of a starlight is on this hand and candlelight is on this tone. So of the two, I think I would grab for candlelight more than starlight. Maybe I'll get rid of starlight. I might. Alrighty. The Bomb Mary Luminizer. Never used it. Swatched it. Bought it. Swatched it. Packaging is gorgeous. So cute. Wish I used highlighters. Wish I, wish I liked highlighters. That is just too much for me. That one is going in the for sale. Um, oh, that's a blush. See this is how much messy my drawer is. Things get thrown into the wrong area. Lorac Spotlight. A perfectly lit powder in Spotlight. I actually really like this. Um, a lot of people talked about this a lot and said it's a beautiful highlight. Um, I do agree. I think it's very nice um, and it's small so I don't mind. It's not like I have something huge to go through. Uh, Laura Mercier Golden Mo Shimmer Block and Golden Mosaic. It's like the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks and Shimmer Blocks. I won't ever use that. Too dark for my skin tone, especially for a highlighter. Uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Angelic. Oh yeah, I was like, really? A blush? Just little sample size one. Pretty highlighter, but I won't grab for it. Going in the sale pile. Uh, Marcel. Oh, this one, I remember, it didn't have a name when they sent this to me. I actually, it looks like a bron like that mosaic one, but it doesn't. It's beautiful. It is just the nicest, nicest highlight. I really am enjoying this. It just, I don't know. It just, uh, I like it a lot on me, but I just, I don't know. I'll keep that one. Um, well, there's only two more. Bare Minerals. Pure Radiance. I guess it's a sample size. I don't know what size this is actually sold in. And I have never opened it or used it. So we will put that in the for sale because obviously I don't need it because I'm not missing it. Uh, benefit sample of the Watts Up. Um, I think I had a full size of this and I wasn't thrilled with it. Um, I will swatch it for you guys and I'm going to keep this because it's just a little one. But I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm just going to get rid of that either way. It can either be thrown away or uh, maybe I'll put it in as a bonus for somebody that buys a highlighter. Um, so that is it in the back of this drawer. There are a couple of kabukis. I'm going to move them to a different drawer because I feel like they're in the way there. Actually, I might need them to help hold the products in that part of the drawer. So uh, I'm going to put the I'm going to show you what I'm kind of what my breakdown is of what I'm ke keeping and what I'm selling. Um, or giving away and uh, then I will show you guys how the drawer looks. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight I am keeping and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one I'm giving away that I'm getting rid of. That just shows you how much I don't really use these that I only need that many. So I'm gonna put them away now. 
All right, so I have pared this down enough that it is simply in this little area here, except for the uh, Laura Mercier by Candlelight that I'm gonna keep. So when I redo, I just threw what was in here back over here right now. Um, when I redo the blushes, then I just have to find somewhere to put this, um, which isn't that big of a deal. But everything fit in this small one, and I need to remember by looking at this, when I go to use something that this is all I need because I don't grab for them that often. So that's it. That is my kind of makeup graveyard for my highlighters. I'm getting rid of a good amount of them um, and I'm keeping just what's in that small little area because I honestly don't grab for highlighters that much. Uh, I like to have one for when someone does a tutorial or I like a look and I wanna add that in, but it's not something that I grab for on a regular basis and I need to remind myself to stop buying them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this version of my makeup graveyard here. Uh, we're getting through them. And uh, up next is gonna be blush. Uh, that one's gonna be a big one to tackle. And then I'm kind of afraid the next drawer after that is foundations and brushes. So we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any other questions and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.